Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying this view. I decided to stop by here before I get something for lunch. It's almost lunch time, so please enjoy this view. Thank you. You see those houses and apartments over there? That's where my apartment is. And I'm here across the bridge, standing. Just uh, getting you guys something nice to see, a nice view, other than <laughs> my kitchen. So, I'm just here standing, and I'm enjoying watching those clouds, beautiful clouds. It's finally the weekend, guys. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Enjoy the view, everyone. Let's just uh, watch all the clouds and those geese, enjoying the sounds of geese, beautiful wildflowers. It's very peaceful just standing here, guys. Look at that beautiful, peaceful. Let's go to the near the water. Mm. So relaxing. I could stand here for another five hours but it's almost lunch time so I'm thinking of also getting something from the Bill Miller it's a famous like restaurant here in Corpus Christi so I'm just probably gonna do a drive-through so let's go guys beautiful right I wish you guys a happy weekend, stay safe everyone, and watch this video till the end. Mwah. everyone I just got back home I have brought our lunch today which I'm introducing to you right now uh, food from Bill Miller this one it's very famous here in Texas I don't know which state are you from or country but it is a very famous barbecue um, restaurant here in Corpus Christi Texas and I have a full meal here i have some um i think this is just pickles and some white onions and we have uh, bread here some buns and i got my drinks here this is unsweetened so i have to add my honey later on that's it and uh, let's open this one what we have in here i've had this once before but i thought that i would buy something today so that i can share it with you so what do we have here is some spanish rice rice is life for me so we have some spanish rice and some charro beans all right and we also have beef this is like a brisket and looking so delicious, right? So this is our unsweetened tea and I'm just gonna add one spoonful of my Texas honey. I will make you guys something for dinner, which includes also a beef today. So that's it guys. Okay, let me just stir it so that it's deliciously <laughs> okay okay guys let's take a bite so let's start off with our Spanish rice okay cheers everyone mm. some beans 
the brisket looks so yummy mm. cheers everyone this is all for you mm. cheers mm. and some pickles who loves pickles do you like pickles guys mm. Mm -mm -mm. what I usually do guys is I put my charu beans there and then I put some brisket here inside and you can add your onion on to that but at this time not gonna add that then you have a very delicious sandwich right here mmm take a bite have some drinks it's time to cook dinner is getting really cold cheers everyone <laughs> oh it is time to prepare all the ingredients I need for this recipe today this is what I ah! this is the vegetables I am gonna be using grab my um, cutting board So actually guys this one I put it in the ziplock it's because this was my leftover from my other recipe last time so I just put it in the ziplock so that it's still fresh and then I have a tomato here as you can see fresh looking tomatoes and then I have a green bell pepper here so I want you to guess what I am making today guys and before I start cutting them I want to work on my meat first because I want to kind of marinate it for a good amount of minutes before I make dinner for today all right guys so let me grab the meat and I'll go right there with you okay guys so here's the meat that I have here it's beef brisket I don't know if I'm using the right meat but it's a meat and uh, it has like a good amount of fat here but that's fine I'm not gonna remove the fat so kind of just wanna slice it maybe this thick guys like that hopefully that's good all right so before I cut them guys I just want you to give you guys a closer look of our meat so that you can see if it's fresh or not <laughs> We are not going to eat rotten meat today. Um, let me turn it. Okay. So it looks good. No worms or anything like that. We're just going to cut it. Okay. Like I said, I just want to cut it like this size. Alright. Let me continue. So I'm just using my grand knife, guys right so first maybe i would cut it in the middle so that is easier for me to work on the meat this is very thick that is why i need to probably cut it in the middle just have to do what is easier for me okay guys now let me just probably uh, guys Let's continue okay guys maybe this is good sizes hope that you don't mind they are not uniform there's bigger there's smaller they're gonna get shrink once I cook them guys okay look at that we are done cutting them and I just want to season it and start cutting my veggies they are already washed before I cut them so they're good to go let me just wash my knife and my cutting board guys because it's just 
just making me sure that the food are clean if I wash it very well because I don't want to do cross contamination here <laughs> okay guys just want to scrub it real good So I am back. Let me just dry this quick and then I can season this beef right here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be using a. So I have this uh, other one here. This is from Fiesta Brand. So I think this time I'm going to try this one. It's from Simply Organic. I got it from this uh, grocery store that is new to my area. So I might try this today. What do you guys think? <laughs> it looks so good. Hmm? From the look of it guys, I think you already know or I think you already have idea what I am about to serve to you today. Alright, let's do this. Okay guys, that is that. Let me just open it quick. And I just want to spread it all over this beautiful piece. Why is it not opening? Okay. Season that beautiful piece. Say hi, Riley. What? Give me an iPad. Oh, you already have iPhone. Give me an iPad. Riley's birthday is coming up soon. When is your birthday? Sorry, June 7. June 7, yes. Riley's gonna be turning how old? Nine. Uh huh. She's gonna be a big girl. Yay. <laughs> I told her when she turns 13, she can be with me on my videos. So now that is a uh, season, guys. I want to kind of cover it for a good. 20 to 30 minutes and then I will work on the vegetables that I'm going to be mixing with this stunning beef right here okay we are going to cover it for good 30 minutes I'm just gonna put it aside which it's here in the fridge so as you can see they're hiding here okay we will cook them in 20 to 30 minutes Alright guys, I am back with my newly washed bell pepper and the uh, tomato. So now let me just slice them into... Uh, I'm gonna show you. Well, guess what? My knife just broke the other day when I was um, washing it and I kind of dropped it. It has like a crack right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that but yeah. <laughs> That's uh ceramic knife that i have but i'm definitely loving it guys so i am going to be ordering the full set of the ceramic knife from amazon one of these days if i can remember that so i don't think i'm gonna use all of this uh, bell pepper since the meat is not a lot so probably just half of this and i'm just gonna save it for the next recipe that i am going to be making all right let me just clean the inside and remove all the seeds since i do not like that so now that it looks really clean let me slice it quickly okay i am just going to cut it this way guys okay like look how long it is like that and okay let me put that aside and work on our fresh tomato right here okay righty look at that beautiful mm-hmm beautiful now on to our onion onion delish some people doesn't like onions or the smell of it but i don't know why i like the smell of this so anyway probably also not gonna use all of them like i said the meat is not much 
so let me just use a good amount of onion right here this much let me just slice it quick okay Pretty. okay guys so i got the pan here that i'm gonna be using now it's been 30 minutes um so the meat is now ready to be cooking so let's start first let me turn on the stove number seven Looks like this is done. Time to heat up our tortilla. I got a flour tortilla. Let me just put it aside and cover it. And then I have this pan here. I got it at HEB the other day when I went there. It's from Tia Liti's flour tortilla. As you can tell, it is brand new. And I got it for like very cheap. I cannot remember, but it was just like a couple dollars, maybe four or six dollars. Uh, somewhere around there. Let me just grab the flour tortilla that I have. This is it guys The flour that I'm gonna be using There you go guys. It's just a flour tortilla and I got this at Walmart you can buy it at the bread section I think or um, near the cheese Mexican food because that's where I got this one and yeah, it's look like this guys like that so there's also like corn tortillas but today I am using the flour ones I'm just going to heat it up and put it here in our round pan here like that so make sure that the heat is very very low we don't want to burn the tortilla and just kind of make it warm like that mm -hmm. okay, so I'm going to be using my mozzarella cheese. Feel free to use whatever cheese you would like to use for your taco. But this is what I'm using, guys. Like always, it's from great value. Spread cheese all over. Now, if you are allergic to cheese or dairy, you don't have to add cheese also. But I am just making it the way how I kind of learn it guys this is not how to make taco because obviously i'm not a chef or a cook like that i'm not an expert i'm just showing to you how i make my taco today so i put cheese there and then i'm gonna add some of my beef fajita here all right guys i have our first taco here Okay, I am going to fold it now so that I can take a bite for all of you and look at that guys mm, look at that so it just look like that mm -hmm. now let me take a bite this is for Ray and for all of you Ray I know how much you love 
taco and today I made beef fajita and I hope you enjoy the first bite. Alright guys, first bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I slowed down guys. Mmm. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay guys, this is the food that I made for you today. The dinner is served. Well, anyway, I don't want to make this video any longer. So I'm going to close the video here by thanking all of you for joining with me today's recipe. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope to see you guys on the next upload. Bye guys, see you next time.